Hello, beauties and gents. It's your girl, Exquisitely Ray, aka Ray La Monique, back here with another video. And I am so excited to be doing another video about Valentine's Day. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna lie. I'm one of those who be low key hating on the side because I have not had a Valentine in so long. Like, I can't even remember. I think. Wait, I've only had one Valentine in my life. That's sad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's sad. But Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I just wanted to touch on some of the annoying things that people say that you should do or that you can do if you don't have someone special to spend Valentine's Day with. There are so many things that you can do, actually, that I, I'm actually looking forward to tomorrow because your girl has been trying to eat healthy. Yes, I'm back on my journey and I've been trying to do it up again and tomorrow is going to be a cheat day. I am treating myself and I am also looking forward to it. But before I get into what I plan on doing on tomorrow to celebrate this day, <laughs> I want to talk about some of the annoying things that people say that we should do. Like, okay, I found this blog and it says 30 things to do when you're single on Valentine's Day. 30 things, you guys. There's 30 things that we could do as a single person on Valentine's Day. Let's get into it. Okay. Okay, so with February, a lot of people equate it to like hearts and love and Valentine's and be mine and sweetie and all of that. Remember when you were kids and you just used to get those little candies or whatever? People used to pass them out. Well, of course, in elementary, they were politically correct and they made sure that everybody got one. But, you know, it started to become segregated as we get older. <laughs> and only certain people would get Valentine's. Like the person that you like or if you didn't like this um, this girl over here, she, she she is not getting a card from me. Uh -huh, she's not getting a box of candy, honey. No. So, I mean, it became something different as you got older. But when you're kids, you just, you don't know anything but to love and love like everybody you know what i mean it's it just oh my gosh if we could all be that way now as a people oh my gosh we, that would be awesome but you get older and you get conscious and you're like okay yeah no heaven, you looked at me wrong so no you're not getting one and you you right there uh -uh, i don't like the way you chew so you're not getting one either so i mean we just get a little petty with it as we get older not to mention as you get older you start to get into the liking the opposite sex or whichever you prefer um and you're like okay oh my gosh. i hope he gives me a valentine oh my gosh when i was in school middle school and high school they would have where you can purchase from the student store like a flower with a card or whatever and um if you were special enough to get one of those from somebody oh my gosh you'd be just like oh my gosh you'd be flossing all day like oh my gosh who got that oh johnny you got this for me oh my god <laughs> i miss those days so much i really miss having a crush on somebody or whatever and oh being admired and all that is so oh such an awesome feeling but when you get older, you, I mean, especially if you don't have anyone to share that with, it's, it, it kind of sucks. I'm going to lie. It kind of sucks. And it's low-key, you know, you become a hater. You know, low-key. Just low-key. Um, so, <laughs> I'm not much of a hater. I mean, I, I feel like when it happens for me, it's going to happen. Um, I hope it happens in my lifetime. That'd be great. That'd be really great. But if it doesn't, you know, I'm just gonna try to be happy and try to live my best life the way that I can and make myself happy, you know? Yeah, with age comes wisdom too. Let's just be real. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into, let's say, so 30 things that we can do as single people. Okay, let's see. Just make plans. Now that's obvious. I mean, just make plans for the day. I mean, of course, if you're single, um, and you're not really into the holiday, I can understand you not wanting to participate, but if you're someone like me who would love to be able to 
um, have the opportunity for someone to show them that type of love and affection and all of that gooey stuff on that day, then I mean, yeah, you will feel a little salty, <laughs> especially when you're watching stuff on TV or seeing stuff on social media. Social media kills everything now, like everything. Because back in the day, you didn't have that. At least you didn't have that. And I mean, of course, you'll have like your girlfriend or somebody calling you and be like, girl, so-and-so, so, you know, I saw so-and-so, so-and-so, whatever, whatever. But you have the option to not answer that call. But now social media, I mean, you have the option to not look on social media, but who's going to do that, okay? So <laughs> social media is out there and it blasts everything. And they always say that when watching social media, be careful because a lot of times people just post what they want to post. A lot of times their relationships are not as golden as they are showing on social media. So just keep that in mind, but make plans. Um, that's something that I agree with. Definitely make plans um, if you are somebody that um, would like to participate in that day and don't have anyone to spend it with. Make some plans either with your girlfriend or um, with a good guy friend or with, with, with yourself. With yourself. That's a good person to spend time with. I, I, I'm a great time. So. I definitely will be enjoying myself on tomorrow. <laughs> so the next one, it says to host a singles dinner party. That sounds like fun, right? I mean, I guess if I had a whole lot of single friends, that would be something that I would do. But I don't. I don't have a whole lot of single friends, actually. I don't have a lot of friends, period. You learn that when you get older, too. You friends start to go in way as well. But I certainly wouldn't mind being a part of a singles dinner party or throwing one, even myself. I love throwing events and throwing parties and stuff like that. But right now, I'm in transition. So right now, I'm not throwing anything. <laughs> but soon I will, and hopefully I will be able to meet some fabulous, wonderful um, single people or even couples, and I will definitely throw something like that um, Maybe next year. Who knows? We'll see. But that's an option. So the next one is pretty corny. I, this is something I would not do. So just putting it out there. It says make chocolate dip shortbread hearts. Why the heck do I want to do that? I guess if I had children, I would. This would be something that I would do with my kids. But why would I want to do that as a single person? Who wants to do that? Scratch that one next. Number four, it says plan a Valentine's Day craft. What is that? Crafternoon? Yeah. Yeah. No. What is that? It says set out paper, cardstock, stamps, ink, and heart shaped stickers. Ask your most creative friends to join you and make Valentine's Day cards. Whoa! We are not in elementary school, so no. I would not be participating in something like that. And if you do do stuff like that and you are this person, more power to you. I'm not trying to knock you, but it's just not for me. That's just not for me. That To me, that's something that, again, I would do with if I had kids or with my nieces and nephews or something like that. But as an adult, no ma'am. Number five, treat yourself. It says treat yourself to like a haircut, a blowout, a massage, Okay, I, I, I feel you. Yes, that's something that you could do. That's that's a great option, actually. Treat yourself to, you know, a Manny Petty. Go get your hair done. You know, just just don't own yourself on that day. Pamper yourself. That's the word. Pamper yourself on that day. I could get with that. Absolutely. Number six. Get out of town. Plan a Valentine's Day weekend getaway with a friend. That sounds awesome like awesome but me as a business owner i don't really have time to like get away and stuff like that so that's right now is not for me but it's a, it sounds like a great option like i would love to get away want to get away yes i would love to get away number seven cook a romantic dinner for your parents my parents all the time. I hosted their 30th wedding anniversary celebration this past December. Oh my gosh. And so, I mean, that's something, I do stuff for them all the time. So, no. I, no. <laughs> 
it's a no for me. No, not right now. Yeah, no. Yeah, and plus they have each other. I, yeah, no. <laughs> Number eight, take yourself out to eat at your favorite restaurant. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, this is something I can get with. I can get with taking myself out to my favorite restaurant. I eat like a, a what? I can't even think. Lord have mercy. Red Lobster. I love Red Lobster. What else? Cheesecake Factory. Um, I'm not. I'm not at all like difficult. I'm so easy. It's it's not even funny. Like you can take me to Wingstop and I'm gonna be very happy. Actually, no. I, w I want you to do a little better when you plan something special for me. But I, I still will be happy with Wingstop. I, I would. I'm very simple. But I think you step it up. You know, at least step it up a little bit. Take me to Red Lobster or somewhere. That would be a little, little better for me. I love Red Lobster. I love the Cheesecake Factory. What's some other places that I love? I can't even think. I, I can't think. Brain fart. I can't think. But that's an absolute yes. That's a keeper. Number eight is a keeper. Number nine, sign up for a boutique workout like Barry's Boot Camp or Soul Cycle. For Valentine's? I'm gonna be in somebody's boot camp or soul cycling on Valentine's Day? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> No, don't get me wrong. I, I'm all for going to the gym, especially on holidays, because I do not like the crowd. So holidays, it'd it be, it be real skimpy up in there. And I love it like that. So I'm definitely, I'm for it, but that's not gonna make me happy. As a, That's not gonna make me feel better. So no, no thank you. Maybe if it was a bunch of my girlfriends and if I had a bunch of girlfriends, that would be fun to do, but no ma'am. Number 10, bake a chocolate layer cake. Hmm. Me and bacon, no. I'm not a baker. I do cook, but baking, no. I, I'm not a baking type person. I could get down with some German chocolate cake from the Good Cake Company. That's my, now that, that I could do. So, yes, I could purchase me a layer cake. Preferably German chocolate. Preferably from the Good Cake Company here in California. Yes. <laughs> Number 11, drink some champagne. Hmm. Now, if you're a drinker, this is something, this will be a great option for you, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a drinker at all. I do not like the taste of alcohol. It's not for religious reasons or anything like that. I just simply do not like the taste of alcohol, so I don't get down with it. I don't get the hype. I don't understand it. I don't understand when you drink something, you have to do all this and stuff or whatever. If it don't taste good, I'm not drinking it. Why? No. So, I'm not, that's not something that I would do. Now, I can get down with some long sparkling cider yeah i can that martinelli's be on pop ah did i say on pop <laughs> but yes i can get down with some bomb sparkling cider oh my gosh especially when it's so like chilled and cold oh yes that's a winner so no champagne for me number 11 but i can get down with some some apple cider right here we can just put that in its place 12. Do a chocolate taste test. What? <laughs> what? Okay, it says get a bunch of different flavors of chocolate and have some friends over to help you eat them. Well, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> no. My girlfriends will be like, really, Bray? This is what you wanted to do today? No. Maybe I guess in a party with the, you know, the champagne slash apple cider slash gingerbread. What was the, the, the whatever bread thing they told, the, and then the layer cake and all that stuff. Maybe we all doing all of that type of stuff all together. Then yeah, maybe, but no ma'am. <laughs> Let's move on. Number 13, 
wear something festive and feel the love. Okay, of course, yes. You want you want to feel cute. You want to feel sexy. You want to feel wanted and desired on that day. I, I mean, I would. I do. I know I do. I want to exude um, love and happiness. And hey, I am single and ready to mingle. Well, not really ready to mingle. I don't know. That's another conversation. But. I definitely want to feel good and confident on that day. I don't want to feel bad and horrible and be crying and depressed and stressed. No, that's not that's not the goal. So I definitely agree with number 13. Wear something festive, make yourself feel good and, and walk in that day confidently. Number 14, stay in and pamper yourself. That goes on with the, the other one with doing a massage and all that stuff. Well, stay in and pamper yourself, take a long bath, Watch some television, you know, um, do a face mask, do your nails. I'm not really good at doing my own nails and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know about that, but I can get down with pampering myself, which is, that's an option, definitely. Pampering myself, making sure that self is good. So, that's an option. So, yeah, we're, we'll, we'll go ahead and keep number 14. We'll keep that. Number 15. Book a couple's massage with your friends. No, no, no. I mean, I guess so. I guess it would be really nice. If my best friend lived here, I would probably do something like that with her, but she's married, so, you know, she's not in my single club. But definitely, I mean, it's an option. I, I'm not going to rule out number 14. Um, I mean, number 15, I'm sorry. Number 15, I'm losing my place. Number 16, send a heartfelt text to all the people you love in your life. Well, my heartfelt text is going to be happy Valentine's Day, love you. That's my heartfelt text. <laughs> That's all they're getting from me. But, uh, yes, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess, yeah, Valentine's can, I mean, it, it is more, it's designed more for couples. But you can show love to um, other people that you love and care about as well. So I, I we're not gonna knock you number 16. Number 17, have a sex in the city marathon. No. I like sex in the city, but I'm not about to watch a marathon on it. Right. No, no, thank you. So no, next, number 18, go to your favorite bar, have your go-to cocktail. Well, of course, number 18 does not work for me because I don't drink. I don't go to the bar, so that wouldn't work for me. But for those who do go to the bar, that's an option for you. Get all cute, get all sexy, smelling good, confident and everything. You stroll up into that bar, you order your favorite drink, and then you may not have to order no more drinks after that. They may all be taken care of. <laughs> number 19, plan a date with your best friend. Of course, my best friend, she doesn't live here, so and she's married, so that wouldn't work for me. But it's an option for you if, if you have a bestie that is also single. That's an option. Number 20, do something nice for someone who is older than you. Now that I can get with. My grandmother um, is older. She's uh, She'll be 88 come, prayerfully come this May. Um, but she's been having a rough time. She's been battling dementia. And that's something that I would definitely do. Do something special for her. Um, and that's something that you could do if you have somebody older in your life or even if you, you don't have an older person in your life but you know one and you, you know, that will make their day to have somebody do something special for them. Um, a lot of times, oftentimes, a lot of older people don't, they get overlooked and that will definitely let them know that they are here, they are special, they are loved. So that's an option. Number 21. Explore a new neighborhood. No. Next, number 22, watch your favorite sporting event. <sighs> I'm, it's not for me. I'm, I'm not really into sports like that, but if you are um, into sports, this is an option. Number 23, catch up on your sleep. Now, now we talking. This right here, number 23. Oh yeah, you can get it, number 23. <laughs> You know, as you get older, sleep is just something that you lack. Like, I mean, especially being a business owner, I constantly have stuff on my mind. So 
don't let me wake up in the middle of the night. I can fall asleep, um, like get sleepy and tired around, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night and then fall asleep. But then a few hours later, I'm up and I can't go back to sleep because my mind is going because I got so much on my mind. And so sleep is something that I'm deprived of. So definitely number 23 can get it. Number 23, you can get it. Catch up on some sleep. Yes. Uh, yes. Number 24, stay off social media. <laughs> it would be best if you are single. It would be in your best interest to stay off social media. It, it would be. I, I advise you to do so. Am I going to take my own advice? Probably not. I'll probably be on there scrolling. But, I mean, I'm, I'm strong enough to take it. I may sit up there and cry and be like, oh, you know, looking at proposals and all kind of stuff. But, you know, I know one day it's going to be me and it's all good. So, <laughs> but if that is something that you're not strong, <laughs> you're not strong in, please stay off social media. Please. Number 25, have nieces or nephews. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, my brother, I love my brother and I love my nieces and nephews, but my brother got seven kids, six of which are here locally. And, um, no, no, ma'am. And him and his wife is, are they, they're in, um, my parents are all planning on going out on tomorrow. Look at that. Look at, look, they all planning on going out, excluding me. It's all good, but <laughs> I ain't salty, but he gonna say, I said, so who's, who's keeping the kids and I said that for a reason because my brother and his wife they look they I love them but y'all need to know as as a parent y'all have to ask for us to watch your kids don't just assume that we're gonna watch your kids and that's what they do a lot they just assume that oh she she ain't going nowhere she don't have nobody so ha, she'll watch them I said no ma'am I will not be. So my brother was like, oh, so you have somewhere to go? You, you going out? I'm like, no. He's, he was like, oh, <laughs> no. And I expect to have the house to myself too. So no, <laughs> I'm not watching him. No. And I love my nieces and nephews. I do. And I, I never say no. I never say no. But tomorrow is for me. It's for me. I am treating myself. I'm taking care of Ray. So, love y'all, but y'all gonna have to find somebody else to watch the kids. Sorry. Six kids on Valentine's? I don't think so. It's not happening. No, ma'am! Number 26. Head to Trader Joe's and buy several bunches of, of flowers. No. Now, that's depressing. No, I'm not doing number 26. No, ma'am, if you want to do that, you love flowers and you just like the smell of, of them and you just want to have them around, then that, that's wonderful. Do that. Me? No, ma'am. Not happening. Number 27, go to a comedy show. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. Am I going to do it? No. But, I mean, would I do it? Yes, absolutely. I would. See, my nose is itching. Oh, yes, I would absolutely do it. But, um, that's not my plans for tomorrow. But, I mean, it's, not, it, it's an option. If that's what, something that you like to do, you love to uh, laugh, and you need that humor on Valentine's Day, you do that. You go to the comedy show and you laugh your little heart out. Number 28, hang out with your grandparents. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, I've already spoke about my grandmother, and that's somebody who's elderly that I would do something special for. But I don't know. I might end up hanging out with her tomorrow. I don't know for sure. Um, I don't know, but uh, I mean, it's an option. It's not a no. It's not a no. That was, yeah, that was humor. It's not a no, Granny. It's not a no, Granny. I love you so much. Mwah. Number 29. Splurge on a nice piece of jewelry. Mm -hmm. I like number 29. I would like it better if somebody else splurged on a piece of jewelry for me. However, I'm not against number 29. I'm not against splurging and getting myself something special, you know. But am I doing it tomorrow? 
No, ma'am. Number 30. Okay, so this sums it all up. Pretty much love yourself. Do whatever makes you happy. Um, take time out for you. Love on you. Remind yourself that you are lovable. You are special. You are somebody who deserves love and deserves somebody special in their lives. And just right now is just not your time. But let yourself know that you love you. I love me. And don't be crazy about it or psycho or whatever. But that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed those 30 things that they say that we as single people can do on Valentine's Day. Now, what I plan to do on Valentine's Day is I'm planning to treat myself. I think I said it a little bit already, but I plan on treating myself. I love me some wing stop. Y'all know, if you know me, you follow me, you know your girl loves some wing stop. And I'm not able to in indulge in wing stop all the time because it's not a healthy, it's not healthy for me to do so. So I, every once in a while, I will treat myself. And, and Valentine's Day is one of those days that I am going to treat myself uh, to some wings and some fries. They fries are so bomb, y'all. Ah! Ah! And I'm so looking forward to it. And I have some brownies. I'm going to make my own little founder's favorite from Cold Stones. I'm going to make it my own here because I already have brownies. I'm going to go give me some, um, some chocolate and some caramel and some pecans and just make my own little dessert and i'm gonna watch some movies maybe a movie i can't say movies i'm just y'all i'm getting old i'm getting old i can barely watch one movie and get through it without going to sleep so i'm gonna watch a movie <laughs> and just spend time with myself that's my plans it may change i'm not for sure i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope this was something that you can relate to or that you can I don't know if maybe it's something that sparked the interest for you and you was like oh I need to think about that so I gave you an idea of what to do for Valentine's Day I hope that's the case but if you are single don't be down on yourself it's not gonna last forever sis Liz listen 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 Landon. you are deserving of whatever God has for you. And right now, it's just not your season. It's not your season of being in love or being having a Valentine's Day or anything like that. And I'm, I'm talking to myself as well. It's not our time, but our time will come and we'll, we will be the annoying people that people look at and be like, oh my God, oh, I wish, oh my God. You know, so just enjoy this moment. Enjoy being single. Learn something about yourself. Work on yourself. Better yourself, and just build up your 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 confidence. Build up your uh, your business if that's what you're doing. Get to know yourself and learn to love and accept you for you. I'm talking to me too, sis. So it's <laughs> for me too. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. And I hope you guys have a fabulous time on Valentine's Day, whether you're single, whether you're coupled up, or whatever. Have a great time. Be safe. And until the next video, I'll see ya. Bye. Now, why did nobody tell me I got a spot on my shirt? Y'all, I just recorded this whole video with this wig like this. Ain't nobody doing it again. Ain't nobody doing it again. And I don't want to want my lover. You give me fancy.